You are listening to From Ring to Veil. I'm Shannon. And I'm Kim. And we are your wedding planning gurus. We take the stress out and put the fun back into wedding planning. San Antonio Venues, episode number 166. Please take a minute, pause, and subscribe to the show if you haven't already. Right there on that little app that you're listening to us, there's a subscribe button. Just click that. Click. And if you have a minute, share us with a friend. Let them know we're here. You love us. We can help them plan their wedding too. Yeah. And if it's your bridesmaids or maid of honor, hey, we have some great advice for them as well. That's true. So tell them about us. Please. (laughs) Facebook group. We have a new Facebook group. Well, it's not so new anymore, but we have a Facebook group. Please join us over there. It's from Ring to Veil Wedding Planning Community. You can find it through our web, our uh, Facebook page if you can't find it just by looking up the name. There is a link right there on the show notes, so you could click that and it'll take you right to it, too. We also have a new iTunes review. Woo-hoo. We love getting new iTunes reviews. Thank you so much. This is from Trish. Oh, I don't know how to say the rest of it, so we'll just call you Trish. <laughs> She says, the episode on how to plan a wedding in six months got me hooked on this podcast. Super healthy, great, super healthy, super helpful, great tips and advice, awesome resource, and overall great uh, podcast team chemistry. I love that they are just real and have a great sense of humor. Highly recommend. What a nice review. Hey, Thank we're you. BFF, so, you know, that's how we come. We have so much chemistry. We do have chemistry, don't we? <laughs> Thank you so much, Trish. That's that's really sweet of you to take the time to do that. Plus, we're getting more uh, ratings, too. So our star ratings is going up. It's just awesome all the way around. We were also mentioned in Val's magazine, which is an industry magazine for the wedding industry. He kind of interviewed us for an a, a article on podcasting and wedding planning and things like that. And so, you know, it was kind of cool. We're listed as one of the top five. Thank you very much. <laughs> we will post a link to that in the Facebook page if you want us to see that. This episode brought to you by Appy Couple, the most stylish way to share your wedding. You choose your design, then tell your story. Add and edit photos of your life together from the beginning. Choose your tribe, your maids, and men. Lay out all the events and details to organize everyone easily. When, where, child care, weather, and how to get there. Your guests can join in on the website and your very own app. From reading your stories to adding their own photos. And of course, you have veto power. They can get all the event details to the ones that they are invited to. They can also start and join conversations. They can find links to your registries. Available for Apple and Android devices. Go to fromringtovail.com slash appy. That's from ringtovail.com slash A-P-P-Y. Okay, we've got a long one today. So how about we just get to this? We're talking about San Antonio today. And San Antonio is a beautiful city. It's full of culture. There are venues of all types in San Antonio. And they're in the city. They're on the outskirts. They're everywhere. You can have a urbanized wedding in the middle of the city or you can go out into the hill country and have a rustic barn wedding so yeah and don't forget to mention that tex-mex is pretty dang awesome there (laughs) (laughs) if for nothing else (laughs) it is a great place to have some good tex-mex and plus it's a lot of it's a place to have a lot of fun so if you're Mm -hmm. going to make it like a destination wedding there's six flags the river walk sea world you can go visit you know shamu's relatives or whatever (laughs) it's all there yeah it is all there and you know and austin's just a hop skip and a jump away so if you stay there for your wedding have your wedding there and you want to go to austin say for a mini moon or something like that Mm -hmm. it's right there and then of course houston is around yeah. too but but like you said a destination wedding this might be a really good one so our first venue is called the allen farmhouse and it's in new Braunfels. new Braunfels is the birthplace of slitterbahn <laughs> which that. is a really really fun <laughs> water park we yeah. used to go every year yeah <laughs> so the allen farmhouse is 
catchphrase is getting hitched in the hay. What a cute. (laughs) (laughs) Because there's a lot of hay. Oh, that's funny. It's really pretty, too. It's just like wide open, kind of flattish, just just far as the eye can see sky and just it looks really relaxing. It's hayfields. Yeah, (laughs) it's beautiful. They have a rustic barn and it's covered. It's a covered ceremony area. They have a capacity for 250 seated with the dance floor or 299 for a cocktail event. You can bring your own al- alcohol and cater vendors, caterer vendors. I don't know how far this is out, but there may be a little trip charge. Mm-hmm. Uh, rentals include 12 hours from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. facility use. Tables and chairs for 250 engagement and bridal portrait use. Lawn games. Right. And you can go get your bridal portraits or your engagement portraits done there before your wedding day. So I think that's kind of cool. That is cool. That's an, a nice little perk because mm-hmm. sometimes you're not able to do that. Right. And they also have a bridal suite. The grooms people will have to go get dressed elsewhere. <laughs> Uh, The next one on our list is Fair Oaks Ranch in Fair Oaks Ranch, Texas. So they have their own little um, area. I don't know. Is it an actual town? Yeah, I think it's incorporated. Okay. It's on the west side of San Antonio. Okay. Country club setting with several outdoor settings for ceremonies and reception. There's a ballroom for indoor reception, too. They have in-house bar and catering services only, so you can't bring your own caterer in. Their rentals include linens, tables, chairs, setup and breakdown, glassware, serveware, and plates. And use of decor. They have several items that you can use for your centerpieces and things. And the ballroom's really pretty. Mm -hmm. It's not just like some blank room. I mean, they've got some ornate fixtures and stuff. It's it's a really pretty little room. Mm -hmm. Big room, I should say. (laughs) The next one is Gardens at Old Town Holotus in Holotus, Texas, and that's on the west side of San Antonio as well. They have indoor and outdoor ceremony and reception sites. Their capacity is 200, and they do allow outside bar and catering services. Their rental items include eight hours of combined rehearsal, setup, ceremony, and reception time, vendor coordinator, which is really good, tables and chairs, setup and breakdown, complimentary parking with golf cars, Golf cart shuttle service. That's awesome. (laughs) So your guests don't have to trek across the fields. That's nice. Mm -hmm. And they do also have a bridal suite. And it looks like they have a really nice arbor setting that you can stand under Mm -hmm. uh, when you get married. And the indoor site has like the old, the old Austin stone. And it's kind of rustic. The bridal suite is very nice. It has like several stations to get ready in. So that's cool. It's like a really pretty one. All right, next on our list here is Hidden Falls in Spring Branch, Texas. They have two venues to choose from. There's the Remy's Ridge and Hayes Hollow, which is funny. Remy's Ridge's capacity is 300. They have an outdoor ceremony site and a ballroom. It looks like it's set on a man-made kind of pond area with waterfalls coming down. So you can get married right right there in front of a waterfall. That's kind of cool. Mm Mm-hmm. And the seating is tiered, so you're mm. – I like that. So you're yeah. not looking at the back of everybody's head. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you got a couple rows here, and then you go up a couple steps, you got a couple rows here. Mm. And even as a bride and groom, as you're looking into your audience, the just the building itself is really pretty. The bridal suite's awesome. It's huge. I like huge bridal suites. Gives you room to move around and of things. Of course, yeah. <laughs> and it's and it's also ornate. You know, you feel kind of fancy when you're in there. Mm-hmm. It's perfect for a bridal suite. The rentals include setup tables, chairs, linens, centerpiece glassware, and mirrors. So you know the centerpiece mirrors, and you can put your faces on the centerpiece mirrors. Um, they have wedding party suites, as we said, and they also have guest lodging. So if you want to stay. The night before or the night after. Perfect. They might. And the other venue that's in with Hidden Falls is called Hayes Hollow. It's kind of like a modern farmhouse type place. Yeah, it's exactly. That's exactly right. A modern farmhouse. It's cool. I was going to say modern and rustic blended together. Wood and stone. 
I like this. <laughs> I like modern though. Yeah. And that's a nice bridal suite too. <laughs> and their ceremony area is like a little grotto type type place. It's surrounded by rocks and some waterfalls as well. And it looks like they have a covered area with a with a fireplace. I don't know if you would hold your reception out there or something. Mm-hmm. Maybe that's where you dance in front of the yeah. fireplace. The capacity is 250. It has open air ceremony area and a ballroom. The rentals include setup tables, chairs, linens, the Tribis glassware and mirrors, and it has a private bridal suite. Awesome. Next is the Hilton San Antonio Hill Country Hotel and Spa. That is a mouthful. <laughs> the Hilton San Antonio Hill Country Hotel and Spa. All right, there you go. Its capacity is 300. They have indoor and outdoor ceremonies and reception sites. And they have in-house catering and bar service. So you don't even have to have anybody come out there for that. Setup and breakdown is included. And they have bridal and groom party suites. And, of course, it's a hotel. So you have lodging there as well. That's right. Do they have things like golf and stuff? Yes. Okay, that's what I figured. Yeah. And the ballroom is really kind of rustic. It has large beams. The next one is Jack Gunther Pavilion at the Briscoe Museum. I like museum spaces. Yeah, they're really fun and unique. And they're usually wide open and Mm -hmm. you can do a lot with them. Well, you can get 400 people in there. So that's (laughs) awesome. Indoor and outdoor ceremony reception sites. Three floors of customizable spaces. Right. Jeez. And their ceremony site outside is like, it's it's a rock paver patio. And it looks like it has wisteria or something over the mm-hmm. huge arbor. So you can do a lot with that. And I think it's gorgeous. Oh, can you imagine putting flowers on that thing? <laughs> That'd be awesome. The rentals include 25 tables and chairs for 250. Dance floor is included for Friday and Saturdays. So you don't have to pay for extra for the dance floor. I guess they have to install it. Right. Um, it also has access to the famous river walk. So if you want to take a break and go get some pictures on the river walk, hey, you can do that. Mm-hmm. That's nice. Right there on the r- river walk. Are you looking for a free, easy to use, and fun way to register for your wedding? Join over 500,000 couples who have used Zola. They have over 500 top brands and 50,000 gifts, experiences, and cash funds to choose from. They also have a great feature called group gifting, so you can get multiple guests to purchase large ticket items. Zola also has a free suite of wedding planning tools, including a free wedding website. To sign up with Zola and receive a $50 credit towards your registry, go to Zola.com slash FRTV. That's Zola, Z-O-L-A dot com slash F-R-T-V. The next one we have on our list is Milltown Historic District. Now, this this place is in New Braunfels also. Uh, mm-hmm. there, there was a couple of them on our list. This has three different venues. The first one is called the River Venue. The River Venue's capacity is 200. It has indoor and outdoor ceremony and reception sites. You can use their approved caterers only. Their rentals include tables and chairs, and it has a bridal and groom party suites, and you can have, it has a complimentary wedding night stay, so you can stay there for the night. It's right next to the river, as it says, the river venue. It also has um, the reception hall or room is full of of windows all the way around, and there's a really pretty, like, old-timey looking bridge up there. Mm -hmm. Perfect for, for pictures. This is a really cool little venue. The next one is called the Grand Ballroom. It's a capacity of 175, so a little bit smaller than the river one. It has indoor and outdoor ceremony and reception sites. And the same as as before, only approved caterers. Mm -hmm. And it has a cabin you can rent out as well. That has a gazebo and the ballroom is grand. You know, hence the name, the Grand Ballroom. Mm -hmm. It has... It's very elegant. It has chandeliers hanging from the ceiling. It's wide open with wood floors. And so, you know, if you want that elegant Mm -hmm. vintage wedding, this would be the greatest spot for it. They have a nice um, staircase and balcony area. Mm -hmm. Oh, the it's not an arbor. What a gazebo. Mm -hmm. So cute. Totally reminds (laughs) me of the Gilmore Girls. (laughs) Perfect. 
the next one in this venue is the gallery. It's for small intimate weddings. Its capacity is only 75 and it has an indoor and outdoor ceremony sites. You can use their approved caterers only in rental tables. Rentals include tables and chairs and the sound system. Oh, that's nice. Sound system. Mm-hmm. It has rustic beams. It's kind of, it's a storefront, which I think it's kind of cool. Mm-hmm. It looks like a little store. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of cool. Kind of an old-timey uh, country store. Yeah. So, you know, if you want a cute, quirky wedding, that's a great mm-hmm. place to have it. But the outside where the ceremony is, there is a nice brick wall, but it has an arch built into it. Mm-hmm. So that's kind of unique. I don't know that I've seen that anywhere else. <laughs> that's a neat one. Before we go on to the next venue, let us tell you about our sponsor. Oak Valley Vineyards is our next one, and they are in San Antonio. The capacity is 250. They have an indoor and outdoor ceremony and reception sites. I think every one of these in Texas has indoor, (laughs) outdoor reception and ceremony sites. Mm -hmm. Uh, They have in-house catering and bar service. It's just one mile north of the Natural Bridge Caverns, so that's that's a really cool place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The covered pavilion is great. It's wide and open. You can decorate it. You can hang stuff from the ceilings. Mm-hmm. It would be a great place to let your imagination fly. Right off the vineyards. That's really pretty. I don't know. I don't know if you like that, but I like the organization and straightness <laughs> of the vineyards and stuff. <laughs> For some reason it's pleasing, you know? You're like, oh, yeah. that looks so nice. <laughs> Somebody planted mm-hmm. each one of those in the correct row. So it's really pretty there. Um, They also have a bridal suite. They have an event coordinator there, and you can contact them about the venue rental packages. The Oaks at Heavenly in Helotus, Texas, is the next one on our list. That's the second one. This one's really pretty, too. Mm. Mm. It's like an old Tuscan-looking thing. Mm -hmm. Their capacity is 250. Of course, they have outdoor and indoor ceremony and receptions. Um, you can bring in your own catering and bar service. Their rentals include tables and chairs, ivory or white linens, set up and break down a full china service, and golf cart shuttle for parking. They also have bridles and bridal and groom suites. I really like this outdoor area of it because mm-hmm. it's also tiered. And it's lots of places for really pretty pictures. They've got lighting out there, little cocktail <laughs> tables, and you can see the, the ceremony site up the hill a little bit. It's mm. just really pretty. The indoor reception site is gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Timber beams and you know, chandeliers. You can do it rustic. You can do it vintage. You can do it classy. You know, very elegant, romantic. It is. I like this place. Next one on our list, Scenic Springs, same place, Helotus, Texas. I've never said that before, so there you go. Uh, (laughs) Its capacity is 250. The outdoor and indoor ceremony and reception sites are also beautiful. Mm -hmm. You can bring in your own caterer, but they have an in-house bar service, and they have bridal and groom suites, too. they got lots and lots of pictures, so... As mm-hmm. you guys probably already know, you can we'll have links to all of these places on the show notes, which will be from ringtovale.com slash 166. And you can click on any one of them, go straight to their website and check out their videos and their, their pictures and everything. Although I think we do a great job of describing them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Scenic Springs, they have a lot of live oak trees that you could do the ceremony out you know, underneath them. It looks like they have some kind of bridge with a gazebo with, for picture taking. Mm-hmm. Timber beams on the ceilings in the reception area. It's just, you know, hill country-ish, gorgeous, rustic stuff. They have peacocks that <laughs> sometimes show up for your wedding. <laughs> oh, so pretty. It's just very romantic looking, don't you think? Yeah. yeah. The next one is Scottish Rite Performing Arts Center, and it's in San Antonio. Its capacity is 550. So if you want, if you have a large amount of guests, this is the place for you. They have indoor ceremony and reception sites only because it's a theater. That's right. You can bring in your own catering and bar service and rentals include tables, chairs, set up and break down. And they also have bridles and groom suites, which I'm assuming are probably like the dressing areas for their performers when they 
right. perform there. Right, right. Green rooms <laughs> or whatever you want to say. Yeah. Um, they they do have a vendor, uh, preferred vendors. So you might look them up. They usually mm-hmm. will maybe give you a little deal if you use their preferred vendors. Um, mm. So the outside looks really cool. It kind of looks a little Roman-ish mm-hmm. with all the pillars and stuff. That's really cool looking. I don't know. It's, it's always neat to get married on a stage, though, because yeah. you're above everyone. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, you guys got to look at the pictures at the on this. It's really pretty. It's so unique. I love it. Mm-hmm. Really nice hallways. Looks like marble. I don't know if it is, but it looks like it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The next one on our list is the Tower of the Americas in San Antonio. The capacity is 500. Several banquet facilities uh, each have different capacities. They have indoor and outdoor ceremony or reception sites. They have in-house catering and bar service. And, of course, it's a tower. It was from when they hosted the World's Fair. I believe so. Something like that. Mm-hmm. I don't remember if it was World's Fair or not. But one of those things where they build, you know, like Seattle where they have the Space Needle. Mm-hmm. This is kind of like San Antonio Space Needle, but it's called the Tower of the Americas. Mm-hmm. So it has great views and it has one of those 360, you know, floors for the restaurant. So, you know, you're spinning the whole time. <laughs> Are you? That it actually yeah. spins? It spins. Okay. Yeah. There you go. That's really unique. All right. So the next one on our list is UTSA University Center, San Antonio. Its capacity is also 500 and they have indoor and outdoor ceremony and reception sites. It includes rentals, tables and chairs, audio and visual equipment, setup and breakdown. You can bring in your own cater and bar service. And they have a bridal and groom suite. So if you met at UTSA, like if you went to college there, that would be a great place to have your wedding because it's sentimental. You met each other there. You know, mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. could be roadrunners for life. That's. <laughs> but they have like a outdoor rock grotto place that you can have your outdoor ceremony at. And then the, the indoor is a large ballroom, you know, kind of empty. Make it what you want. Make it you. Make it you. Make it you. Be you. I see they have like a ski lodge patio. <laughs> That's kind of interesting because you're not going to be able to ski out there, but maybe you'll water ski. <laughs> no, but they got a couple of different places that you can you can choose from. Mm-hmm. And the last one, but not the very least one, because we do these in alphabetical order. <laughs> It is the veranda, and it's in San Antonio, and this place is huge. They have a capacity of 1,000. 1,000. <laughs> if you know that many people. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> More power to you. <laughs> this, is, this is beautiful. It's stone. They've got, you know, high ceilings, fireplaces, Nice lawns, lots of trees. It's just really Texas looking to me. I think it's kind of rustic and Tuscan. I don't know. Okay. Well, I look at them like, oh, yeah, that's Texas. So, (laughs) (laughs) of course, they have indoor and outdoors, in-house catering, but you can bring in uh, bar service. You can, they, they include setup and breakdown, and they have both bridal and groom suites. So that is all that we have for you for the San Antonio venues. We hope that you might consider one of them if you're in the area, if not a destination wedding. That would be awesome. But we do now have a listener question. It's listener question time. As usual, we're not giving names. We're going to try to generalize this a little bit. It's family drama. Mm -hmm. (laughs) It seems like there's family drama in all wedding planning. Yes, they are both Filipino, so they have a really large families. But they wanted a small wedding, mm-hmm. which was about 200 people, which is kind of small for a Filipino wedding. Yeah, yeah. Um, the bride's issue is her fiancé's family is huge. And they wanted to have add 185 guests. And I guess... After the 200, you know, because they Mm -hmm. only wanted 200, but the fiance's family wanted to add 185. Mm -hmm. Yikes. (laughs) (laughs) And so the families were splitting the cost of the of the wedding. Right. 
Well, the 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 couple is paying right for the first hundred and fifty, or the hundred and twenty. Sorry, hundred and twenty. Yeah, the fiance and the her fiance and her are paying for a hundred and twenty, and the other the families on each side were paying for the rest, but they were only paying for a certain amount. Mm-hmm. Fiance's family was only willing to accept forty guests on their side, but yet they want to invite a hundred and eighty five. <laughs> <laughs> so she's really asking how can her her mother-in-law or her future mother-in-law stated that she was going to sneak guest in mm-hmm. to the reception mm-hmm. she really wanted to know what was the best way to keep these people out she said that they have security and valet at the venue and she asked is it rude to put that on the invitation um Saying that attendance is required, you know, ID is required with attendance and reentry will not be permitted. So I pose this out to other vendors, you know, in the interwebs and I asked them. And I also gave her a little bit of my advice. Mm -hmm. I asked her if it was a sit down or plated dinner. And she said it was kind of both. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Or buffet. Yeah. I asked her if she had a seating chart. She said yes. And I said, well, if they have a seating chart and you have assigned seating for all your guests, then there's no way that they could be served, you know. Right. It was really hard to answer her question because I don't want to get in the middle of family trauma (laughs) because I'm, as we've said before, I'm not a psychologist and neither is Kim. Right. Some of the vendors that I said, why don't, if you're, it's a, if it's a buffet, you know, announce every table. And then once every table has been served, cut the food off. Right. Can you shut the doors after everyone is in and then not have anybody in there? I know they can't lock it because it's a, you know, it's probably a fire hazard. Right. If you lock the doors. But I mean, if there's security there after a certain time, they can't let anyone else in. That's right. It's kind of hard, though. I mean, like, you would have to have security there. And really have them check and be like bouncers and be like, sorry, you cannot get in here, not on the list. And I gave her one other suggestion, which I wouldn't suggest otherwise Mm -hmm. in any other situation was, you know, include dinner tickets. Yes. If there's two people invited, you give out two dinner tickets at the door. That's right. But that's right. That's really kind of that's really kind of unclassy and uncouth at a wedding. But hey, you know, Mm hmm. Yeah, it is. But if you have to do it, you have to do it. I think that's probably the best way. Mm -hmm. But then again, if you don't have somebody at the door saying, I'm sorry, you're not allowed to come in, they might still try to come in. And even if they can't eat, they might be able to drink or dance Mm -hmm. or fill up the room and take up, you know, too much room. So I, I just can't see... (laughs) <laughs> how somebody would say, well, I'm just going to sneak in 120 people or 100 and however many people <laughs> into this place. You can't sneak, really. And and it also depends on the venue. Can you mm-hmm. even have that many people in there? Right. I doubt it. I just, you know, I don't really want to say anything against parents, but what? Yeah. Why? What parent would do? Why would a parent do this yeah. to you? This is just causing you undue stress. I mean, suggest that they have their own party, Mm. you know, say, okay, well, this wedding is only for this many people and this is how many people we're going to have. But if you would like to throw us a not necessarily a shower, but a second reception or or a celebration party or whatever you want to call it and invite all these people, we're happy to come and hang out with you guys for that. You know, just make it give her another option. You know what I mean? (laughs) Oh, anyway, so, yeah, we hope that this all works out for the best and that things cool down a little bit and you can you guys can work on a compromise, maybe, or something that that makes you happy, too, because it again, (laughs) it is your wedding. Yes. So you get to be the final answer on that. (laughs) Is that your final answer? Good luck. Yeah. (sighs) Family drama. (laughs) Yeah. Family drama. We all have it. Just so you know. You are not alone. <laughs> so we have a cool new thing here at FRTV. We have a T Public site that has 
tons of t-shirts and anything you want with our logo. And we're also adding new stuff every day of not just our logo on things or our catchphrase. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so if you want some FRTV swag, go to firmingtavale.com slash T and check it out. And that's T-E-E. <laughs> not just the letter T. <laughs> yeah. Like T-shirt, but not T-shirt. It's T-E-E. T-E-E. Um, we're adding things like bri- I'm the bride shirts or um, bridesmaids and maid of honor and stuff like that. And if you guys, any of you guys are, let's say, crafty or artsy and you want to draw something for us or create something for us to put up in our T-shirt or it in our t-shirt store i should say in our store it's not just t-shirts there's t-shirts and phone cases and totes pillows all kinds of stuff i bought a tote bag and a notepad and a t-shirt yes and i've i've got some (laughs) of the same and i will try to do a video about it i just can't figure out how to i want to do this because i'm not a video person (laughs) so anyway other than that if you have a t public store store that you have some designs that you think all of our listeners would like let us know and we'll check them out and possibly add them to our store too so that you can get a little a little recognition there too it's i just love mm-hmm. tea public it's from what i hear it's all positive i've not heard anything yeah. bad i buy a lot of my t-shirts because i like t-shirts with snarky sayings and stuff i'm wearing a tea public shirt right now it says i'm a bookaholic and my t-shirts came out <laughs> and what i love is they have the curvy shirt and they're nice mm-hmm. and soft and they fit well. And they're longer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the, the, really all the stuff that I've, I've purchased from them is really um, pretty good quality. Don't forget about our Facebook group, the Firming Tavel Wedding Planning Community. Check us out. We talk about stuff. We ask questions. We'd love you to answer them. We want your opinion on things. If you need some advice, you can ask on there. If it needs to be private, you can message us on Facebook. Mm -hmm. We'd love to answer anything. Subscribe to the podcast. We are everywhere. Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, wherever, wherever you listen to podcasts, we are there. And until next time, no stress, no worries. Keep calm and listen on. Music provided by bensound.com. They have a rusket, a rusket. <laughs> Take two. Rental package. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>